Hey, good morning, YouTube. I'm the Tech Prepper. Thanks for joining, thanks for subscribing. In this video, we're gonna make a DIY first aid kit, and these are designed to go in your go bags or just to have around the house. And the way that I like to build these is from items I already have. So I think everybody at least has a box of, of Band-Aids um, or maybe the, you know, the wound dressings or the bigger boxes of the rolled gauze. So these are items that I already have with me that I actually can use to make about upwards of four or five kits. And the reason why I think this video is important is given the current climate and the strain that exists today in the medical or on the medical infrastructure, uh, there are things that may happen day to day, whether it is a small cut or maybe a laceration from a kitchen knife um, or even maybe the treatment of something as simple as a headache. And the items in this kit should help you deal with the day to day. Uh, in terms of the kit themselves, this is a 511 admin pouch. I have about three or four of these. I was using them for the range, but some time ago I found that they actually make really good uh, kits. I mean, this is roughly the size of, of my palm. And uh, before I go into this, if for some reason you don't want to do a DIY project, uh, I have a few of these from Walmart that I bought, I don't know, upwards of two, three years ago, and they have a good assortment of, of items. I can't remember what I paid for these. I have one in the RV, one in the house, one in the car as well. I think they were about 20 bucks. So it's up to you on whether you want to do a build. Okay, so let's take a look at the contents. This will be a very quick video. Uh, at the top, I have hand sanitizing wipes and a couple of latex gloves. A couple of different types of bandages. I have an ACE bandage. We've used this a few times already to treat things like ankle sprains. And then a other bandage that is uh, self-adhering. So this is really nice, especially for the dogs. Uh, we've had to treat like a wound with a dressing. And then this is really nice to help cinch it down and prevent them from getting at uh, the underlying dressing. Here's just a bag of assorted items uh, that are over the counter. We have some, just some Advil. And again, for those of you who have seen previous videos, I can't seem to keep uh, these stocked fast enough. This is the one item I tend to go through pretty quickly. Uh, we bought a box of about a hundred several years ago and are actually almost out. Uh, I basically took a old uh, container that I, maybe it was for cotton balls or something and put some antacids in here. Again, this is kind of the day-to-day -day comfort item uh, that typically comes in a larger uh, container, but for the purposes of this kit, having about you know seven or eight of these in here uh, seemed like the way to go. And then just a couple of flu and cold aids. Uh, I have one for nighttime and one for daytime. Again, it's not going to be everything you need. Uh, if we're at home and have a uh, flu or a cold, we obviously will break into the bigger box, but this is intended for about 24 hours in our go bags if we have to go. Okay, so this bag has uh, all the items needed to treat uh, larger surface wounds. So I have a uh, one or two four by four pads, on the inside, you really can't see too well on camera. I have a two by four pad and also a couple of one by ones or two by twos. Uh, some medical tape, some rolled gauze, and I haven't actually used uh, this item, this bleed stop. I did find it. I had to stock a few items a couple weeks ago in the kit and it was a good price. So I'll do some research on the bleed stop, but you know, it doesn't take any space. So I thought I would add it to the kit. And then this is just a small bag of other items that won't save your life with the exception of one thing. And this is a triple antibiotic ointment. And I can't stress how important this item is compared to everything in there. What you don't want to happen is have a minor cut and have it get infected. Uh, something as simple as having a tube of antibiotic ointment uh, will go a long way of helping prevent uh, infection from setting in. 
Here's some dry eye relief. These are fantastic for dry eyes and also to flush the eye if you get anything in it. Liquid bandage. Uh, this is great for sealing wounds. The proper community tends to want to talk about using super glue and while you can use that in a pinch, I think the uh, liquid bandage is really the way to go. Just some topical chapstick. And this is also a new addition. This is a oral anesthetic gel. And again, uh, I've had toothaches in the past. I've had gum aches before and I don't feel comfortable going to a dentist right now if they are in fact open. So this is just to give temporary relief of just gum and, and mouth sores in general. And it looks like someone already got to this kit. There is a singular uh, cough drop here, so I probably have to go ahead and pull from the big bag after this video. At any rate, uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. I think we're almost at 20 users now, which is kind of cool. Uh, so keep on watching, put comments in the description, let me know, or put comments below. I will take care of the description. Um, at any rate, um, be strong, be safe, and be prepared to make a med kit and take care of yourself.